Okay, tonight we're going to do a short video on using on how you can make a phone call from your computer to a parent and not having to use your personal uh, phone. So to do this, we're going to open up Google. I'm going to do it a little differently tonight. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to Google right here, Google Chrome. This opens up. I'm going to maximize this window. I'm going to hover here. I'm going to see what account I'm in. I'm in my personal account right now. I'm going to click uh, right here and I'm going to go down and I'm going to select this account that I use for tech training mostly and I'm going to hover and you'll see that that is a Hamtramck account. Now I said we wanted to use Hangouts. We could just type hangouts.google.com here but instead I'm going to click over here and I'm going to find Hangouts in uh, the list of apps. There it is right there. Now, we're going to make a call. We're going to make a phone call. So I click the phone call icon. Then we come over here and we click New Conversation. And this is where I'm going to put in the number. 1-313-892-2630. That happens to be the desk on my phone in, in, at, at Hamtramck Public Schools. So I'm not worried about anybody on the internet seeing that number. Um, the first time you use it, you're going to get this. You have to register the phone. It basically is going to text you a code to your cell phone and, or to your, to your phone, and you just have to do it. I did have to do this once, and I wanted to just have you see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a Google account, a school Google account that I've already used Hangouts on. So I'm going to open up my other school Google account, which is my normal one, the one I use for everything other than training, as you'll see right there. This is my school Google account. Once again, if I come up here, I can type hangouts.google.com. This works for most of the applications. It's just a different way to get to it. So once again, I've already confirmed, gotten a text message back for a two-way confirmation. So I'm ready. I'm going to make a phone call. I clicked phone call. I come up here. I'm going to click, click it. I'm going to put in 313-892-2630. That happens to be the phone on my desk. I'm going to click it and hit enter. Now this opens up over here. I'm making a call. It's ringing. Oh, failed. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it one more time. Why it failed, I don't know. You can hear it ringing. It's going to ring a few times, and then it's going to go to my voicemail. On the other end, if I've done this to my cell phone, it says that it's a restricted call. So there's a good chance somebody won't answer it. Just leave a message. So I've now leaving a message on my voicemail. Um, I'm all done. I've asked the parent. I've, I've told the parent that I'm trying to get a hold of them, that I'm going to be trying to call them back at a, at a future date. Um, and uh, let's go. Now I'm going to go ahead, hang up the phone. Now let's just see. I'm just curious. Let's open up my email. So I'm going to go here to my email. And it, look at that. If I look at my school email, it says I have an outside call from an outside person. If I open that up and it says that I have a voicemail, I can actually listen to that. I can open that and we'll, we'll prove that it worked. You've already heard what I had to say. So I'm going to go ahead and close my email close this email and I'm done using this. So I hope this has been helpful. Give it a try. Call all your friends and uh, have a great safe weekend.